Hi, Project Runway fans. We're back here on the finale episode of After the Runway. And as you can see, we've got a little bit of bubbly. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to the finale. And it was a really good episode. It was. So good. There's so much fashion and like just really strong designers and they all had a clear point of view and everybody loved it, it seemed like. There was mm -hmm. no loser this time around, no. you know? Let's uh, start with Mila. She came in third. Uh, her collection was interesting. We got a sneak peek at it and I actually kind of feel like, let me know what you guys think, she had a bit of a styling advantage because Michael and Nina and Heidi told told her to change the styling of her show completely. I'm not really sure if Mila's styling was that great in any way. Mm. I mean, okay. I totally agree. Yeah. Yeah, I, even though she had those tips from the judges, I don't I wasn't impressed. No. I mean, you know, I think her clothes really spoke more than the styling. That's true. And I loved her collection. I just I still wasn't surprised, mm -hmm. which is probably why she didn't win. Yeah, and they also said they weren't surprised by her collection, mm -hmm. you know. So by my Mila. <laughs> <laughs> so on to Seth Aaron and Emilio, who both presented, and as well as Mila, really strong, well-tailored collections, mm -hmm. very different collections. Seth Aaron came out first, and his first outfit, like, I mean, jaw dropped, like that red dress with the leather paneling and the graphic leggings. Oh, I just, I loved it. I loved um, his yellow plaid jacket. Yes, so did I. I. I mean, I feel like everyone wants that jacket. Yeah. I loved his collection. It was fun and it was him, but it was different enough. I felt like it was different enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally loved his collection. I thought it was so innovative. It was cutting edge. It was fashion forward. You know, it was beautifully constructed. It was total luxury. Mm -hmm. um, I loved luxury. I, yeah, mm -hmm. and I loved all of the details mm -hmm. and I loved all of the embellishments and I loved how he used um, shape and lines in the embellishments yep. to create silhouettes and shapes within the garments itself. Yeah. So it was like, you'd see this beautiful piece, but wait, there was even more going on in yeah. the itself. Yeah, you can look at one of those pieces and keep finding new things yeah. about it mm -hmm. to like and appreciate. It's such a good point. And also he's it's so sort of warm and nice. Yes, and yes. You can't help but love him. He's so great. I yeah. loved at the end how he lifted Tim Gunn and then Tim Gunn's back cracked. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking about last week at the trampoline. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, good for Seth Aaron, I have to say. Yeah. I think he really deserved it. And it was a tough decision. I think Emilio, he actually endeared himself a little bit to me this week. Like, seeing him, he was so nervous. And his clothes, I thought, were conservative. Um, a little older, I don't think I would wear a lot of the clothes, but I think there was a huge market, like Faith Hill, who clearly loved it for his clothes, and they're beautifully made, so. And I didn't find them as frumpy as everyone made them out to mm -hmm. me. They were all like, oh, it looks old, and Mila said it looks like something would be sold in a store in Harlem in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. I really, I didn't get that. I mean, they were nice, sort of pragmatic clothing that lots of people could wear. Yeah. And his little dresses were like, little sexy dresses. Yeah, that's true. And his outerwear was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I liked his print. Yeah, you know, I loved his print. I thought it was yeah, I know. So clever. After we thought it was so gross, so but now it's like, when you see it in the clothing, it actually works. Yeah, and it's like he refined the print yeah. and mm -hmm. just made it really good. Um, I thought his whole collection was really wearable and mm -hmm. really sellable. So good for him. Um, I liked the color. Yes, me I, too. Yeah, yeah, I really loved the kind of like that baby blue and then that really bright red. Yeah, in that chartreuse jacket, and the first yeah. one, loved it. Yeah, mm -hmm. just beautiful. And you know, he is a craftsman. Mm -hmm. You know, he can his construction skills are impeccable. It's interesting that they went with um, Seth Aaron over Emilio, sort of the creative over the business. And I was like, yeah, creative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of totally. glad they made that decision. And Seth Aaron's aesthetic is just so different yeah. from anybody else's. It's kind of that like rocker, almost rockabilly thing. Yep. I don't think is being represented at all. No, it's very fresh and new, and I think you said last week like he's gonna you know, innovate fashion and breathe some fresh air into it, mm -hmm. and I think that he really has a chance of making a mark. Mm -hmm. So this season, I feel like, went by really fast. Yeah. Maybe because we didn't hate it like we hated it last season. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanna thank you guys again for joining me every week, and I know it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And so, thanks to you guys. Cheers. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. Thank you. And you can't see him, but I wanna thank Dave. He's behind the camera. It has been all season and has been doing a lot of work for us, so thanks, Dave. Thank <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed After the Runway this season. We definitely did, and hopefully we'll see you again for another season of After the Runway.